So, I had a question for you. What was your name, brother? Huh? Gerard? You said Gerard? All right. You said that um, we asked you your nationality. You said you're a child of God. What does that mean, Gerard? Say it again. Like, who can be a child of God? That's, maybe that's a better question. Who is we all? Right? Talk to me now. Can anybody be a child of God? don't know him. So you got to know God to be a child of God. Uh, I'm just trying to make it plain. Like, I got a five-year-old son. I'm trying to get an understanding so I can explain it clearly to him. I just got to believe I'm a child of God? Or does, does, does God's children have any names? Well, look, look, Jerron, I like, I like what you said. I want to deal with what you said so far, all right? So you said in John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him will not perish. So if I, so if I believe on Jesus, I can be a child of God. That's what you're saying, right? Okay. All right, you believe in Paul in the New Testament? Okay. He did, he did. I want to read something to you out of the book of Romans. I want to see what you think about it. Azariah, I want you to come back up because this is what we need to be dealing with here too. All right, all right, check this out. Romans chapter 9 verse 7. This is what Paul said. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. So Paul told us just because you're the seed of Abraham doesn't mean that you're one of God's children. All right? We're all familiar with Abraham was the father of what? Father Abraham had many... Right, father of many nations, right? But it said, not because you're the child of Abraham are you counted as the seed. Read on. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So God narrowed it down. He said, in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So out of everybody he made on the whole world, God says that his children are going to come out of Isaac. That's what it's saying, right? Now, Isaac only had two sons. So we just narrowed it down from everybody in the entire world to now it's got to be at least one or two sons at most, right? Read on. Keep reading. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. So even out of Isaac's children, the Bible says they that are the children of the flesh are not considered the child of God. They're not God's children. So everybody just got disqualified right now, except for one nation of people. According to Paul in the New Testament. Brother Jerron, read on. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. So the Bible says that the children of the promise are counted for the seed of the children of God. Read on. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one. So Sarah had a son. Sarah's son's name was Isaac. That's what we just read, right? And now Rebecca, she had two children. You know who Rebecca's children were? Jacob and Esau. So God is telling us that his children are going to be born through either Jacob, Esau, or both. Right? That's what the scripture said. Read on. When Rebecca had also conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, 
neither having done any good or evil, uh -huh. that the purpose of God, according to election, according to what? Election. So now we're talking about election, because God is only going to elect one of those two children to be considered the children of God. Right. Read on. According to election, my. Say it again. And we know who that was. So who was? Tell me who was. It was Jacob. Right. It was Jacob. So Paul just told us. In order to be a child of God, you have to be a child of who? Is, they call him what? Israel. There you go. There you go. So look, that's a that's a major difference from the first thing that you said. Because the first thing you said was, you know, John 3.16 says God so loved the whole world. So anybody in the world that believes on Christ can be a child of God. But the Bible told us in order to be a child of God, you have to be a descendant of the seed of the election. Right. Now keep reading down to verse 13. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. And brother Jerron had it exactly correct. Who was elected? Jacob. What was Jacob's name changed to? Israel. Read on. Not of works, but of him that calleth. Uh -huh. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. And who was the elder? Esau was the elder because he came out first. And then Jacob came out afterwards holding his what? Holding his foot, holding his heel. Read on. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. The Bible says God loves who? Jacob. God loves Jacob. Does God love everybody? He loves Jacob. He doesn't love everybody. So John 3, 16, if God doesn't love everybody, how could that world be talking about everybody on the planet? We may have been lied to, Brother Jerron. Somebody may have given us a false doctrine, Brother Jerron. Finish up verse 13. Then Azariah, I want you to come deal with the world. Read what you got. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. Now, Brother Jerron, what Paul just proved to you is that in order for you to be a child of God, you have to be a descendant of the 12 tribes of who? Israel. There it is right there. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh, my God.